What's happening? Tutorial day. Good to see you back, Nathan. You too, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're Enjoy doing your a holiday. Amazing, amazing time, man. We're back. We're doing YouTube videos. Feel back at home. I'm excited. Open a fresh new rope for today's tutorial, man. All right, I'm gonna go with orange. I thought you were talking to me here, man. Oh, am I talking to you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. I didn't know. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna do uh, orange and orange. We've got the orange mat outside ready to go. Today we're gonna to be doing, what are we gonna be doing? I don't <laughs> we'll, know, bro. Forgot. We're gonna do high knees, high knees with, with crisscross, high knees with crossovers. Very interesting move, man. You're gonna love this one, bro. A lot of coordination, a lot of, a lot of balance, a lot of, lot, of, uh, lot of skills required. These, got, these are gonna love it. So what rope are you using today, Rich Athletics? We're using, we're using the money rope 2.0. Let's get some knots in here, very nice. Clean. Let's get the tutorial done, man. Weather's good, light's good. Let's go create some boss content. My mic on. All right, wicked. All right, let's do this. We, we said there weren't going to be too much sun, but... Blue skies. Blue skies, man. October. Just got back from Dubai. Been busy, relaxing, getting some sun. But now we're here. We're going to do a tutorial, man. It's been a while. Sorry for the lack of content, people. Promise you guys, I'll keep you flying like bosses. Today, we're going to get that done. Uh, we have got an amazing tutorial. It's more of a beginner intermediate, but when you get to trying it, you're going to realize how difficult it actually is. So we're going to keep it looking slick, keep it looking smooth. And yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Let's mount you up here. Yep. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's action. Folks, remember, if you're new to the channel, don't know what's happening here, we are the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle. I didn't do the intro, bruv. No, we've got to do the intro. Hold on, hold on. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of skipping, guys. Skipping. We're back again at the home of John Rope Fitness and Lifestyle. Man, it's been ages, man. It's been too long, bro. All right, um, yeah, I've just come back from holiday. Uh, recharge the batteries, feeling really fresh and energized. I've got so much more fire content coming your way. So hit that subscribe button. Listen, guys, I want to make sure that you guys can just literally burn your cardio sessions. Just get into the healthy mindset. Just make sure that you guys can keep fit for just all year round, right? And, and to do that, you need to make sure you've got the right equipment. So head down to my website, www.rushathletics.co.uk Go pick yourself up one of these, man. This is the most in-demand speed rope on the planet. The Rush Athletic Speed Rope, also known as the Money Rope. This is the 2.0 version, right? So today's tutorial, people, going to have, uh, yeah, it's going to be really simple. I promise you it's going to be really simple, nice and quick and easy. We're going to be showing you how to do high knees with crossovers. Now, you need to know a couple of, I uh, say, a couple of moves before you can get this move done. Let me show you what the move actually looks like, right? So this is the high knees, like this. Right, RA version, nice and slick. And then you're gonna mix it with a crossover. One, two, one, two. Now this move, the reason why I love this move so much is because it incorporates a lot of coordination, a lot of balance, because you're gonna be on one leg and also a lot of timing because you're crossing your arms. Now this is gonna be a bit of a, let's say not a tongue, tongue twister because you're not speaking obviously. It's a body twister, right? Your brain's gonna get a little bit fuzzled, uh, frazzled even trying to get this done, especially if you haven't tried it before, but we're putting two moves together. I want you to basically get into the habit of using these one-arm swings. So first off, we're just gonna do one-arm swings and you're gonna learn this high knee jump, right? And all we're doing with a high knee jump is one jump and then another jump with a high knee. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. So you always jump in twice on the one leg and on the second, you raise the knees up, right? really good to attack those lower abs embrace like you're always embracing your core when you skip but you're, you're going to really engage your core when you're doing this move because you have to stay balanced if you start to shift to the side you're going to trip up it's not going to work then you're going to add in these crossovers which is also going to incorporate a lot of coordination you need a lot of kind of brain power to work this okay so first off use these one arm swings we're just going to go and practice this high knee jump right Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? We don't want you as well, like really kind of flexing the knees that's jumping. You don't want to be like up here and looking really like silly and awkward, right? You have to just take your time, pace yourself, 
nice and smooth. And these one-arm drills, right, these one-arm swings, every time the rope clips the floor, that's your cue to jump. One, two, one, two, one, two. Building that muscle memory, get those high knees working. Now we're gonna try and do the crossovers to get it in time with each of these jumps. Now with the crossovers, you have to be able to just do like a basic crossover. So this is with the boxer step. Simple drill if you're a beginner is don't go too wide with your arms. Don't try and cross from here and then here. Keep your elbows close to your, to your kind of torso. And we're just gonna work the wrists across your body, hugging yourself. Feel like you're kind of hugging yourself. Add a little tilt as well. I always mention a little tilt in your body that allows you to cross your arms nice and freely, okay? Stiff back like this or chest out. You can get a crossover done, but if you notice you kind of shorten the rope and you can't get like a really big squeeze on yourself. So little tilt and we're just working these wrists around as so, yeah? Now we're gonna build in with the high knees. So you can start doing your high knees, get used to that. And what I like to do is one, two, one, kind of count one, two in your head. So it's one, two. Once you're doing this right, you have to focus not only on getting the high knee at the right point, but you want to try and focus on getting the cross done at the same time as this knee comes up. That's what's going to help it look really nice and smooth. So I'll give you another example. Boom, boom. The cross should happen as the knee comes up. So do a few more of these. There we go, nice and smooth. What I like to kind of focus on kind of doing all the time as I'm doing these is, is making sure that I'm not moving side to side, lateral. I'm always in the same spot. If you're using a mat, sick. Um, if, you're losing, if you're using a mat or if you're in the gym, just focus on something. If you're in the mirror, just focus on, on yourself to see if you're moving around. You want to stay as balanced as possible. The difficulty with this move is not really actually executing it. It's actually keeping it looking smooth because a lot of people I've seen trying it, they can't keep that balance. So if you can keep the balance, you can then kind of take it nice and slow at first and then speed it up and slow it down. And that's a really nice way of just learning this trick very nice and easy. So peeps, very quick tutorial. Um, I want to make sure that you guys are doing all your moves really skillfully really smoothly and the whole point of this channel is not only to inspire people to skip or pick up a rope it's to also know how to use this thing the correct way the right way and to get the most out of it when it comes to your workouts your combos your tricks whatever you're learning the key is to always just remember fundamentals is your footwork your footwork is everything we're skipping and this move is all about getting the footwork right a couple of cool extensions peeps uh, before i leave you is you could do the same move with different footwork, right? So imagine you have your sort of cross footwork here. We can now add in the crossovers with this, right? Which is really nice, slick. Then you can have like a forward straddle like this. So we can add the crossover here. And they can just sort of speed it up if you want. So loads of different variations. You could take it as far as you want. Um, listen, create your own style build on these little tricks, build on these little moves that I show you, but you can always also build your own sort of, sort of tempo, your rhythm, timing, um, and just yeah, have fun with it. As I always say, you don't need to aim to be a professional overnight. The whole point of this is just to enjoy the journey, right? It's never gonna come overnight. I'm still perfecting moves, still learning new things, but the key is enjoy your journey, enjoy the slaps, enjoy the, the trip ups, the falls, whatever it is, and um, yeah, take it as far as you wanna take it. So. Peeps, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up. That'll be really helpful for me. Allow this channel to grow. And yeah, I'll keep creating more fire content as always. So stick around, subscribe. Yeah, we've got big things coming up in the background here and I uh, can't wait to share it with you. So I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself. Let's get your treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now